What's up, gamers? How you doing? Hopefully your days are going well. As you can see, I'm making a video. I actually wasn't planning on making one. I wanted to save my words for this server for the final party that we're going to have the week after the final session. But so many of you have been sending such kind words and making videos yourself. And as of right now, sending screenshots of the server that we've made together. And I just can't keep the words in. I plan to have a more structured speech that you'll all have to listen to during the party. But for now, I just thought, let's just get some words out of this head and share how I feel. Again and again, through my past speeches for this server, I have spoken about its beginning. Being in a Discord call with good friends, especially Jay and Karma, speaking about a time of wanting a Sonic roleplay and wanting a Kingdom Hearts roleplay to happen. And I thought, why not bring them to the middle? It was the start there, but maybe it wasn't really the beginning. I found my love of games through my dad. As young as I can ever remember, there's precious memories of me being with him, just watching him play games. He would play his N64 or PS2, and I would sit on the side and watch him just explore these realms on this screen. And every now and then he would pass me the controller and I'd have fun playing it. I had no idea what I was doing, but uh, it made me have an appreciation for that medium of art and content and experiences. From there, I was hooked and always can remember myself playing games from then on. He's also the reason I have my creativity. The, the reason why I want to make things comes from my dad as well. I wouldn't be here without his guidance. So thank you, Dad. And thank you, Mom, as well, for not exactly understanding games, but getting around to it eventually. But we move on. I started playing VR Chat in January 2018, the peak of the Ugandan Knuckles meme. There's been a lot of change since then. I didn't really start role-playing until actually a couple years after, starting with My Hero role plays and eventually going on to Shonen. I got to experience what it was like getting to express myself as different characters and meet new friends that I know now our friendships will last a lifetime. And they encourage me to continue to be myself and do the best that I can when it comes to anything I'm doing. I then had the opportunity to run my own roleplay. It was a My Hero roleplay run by Garg. That was then passed on to me, and I got to see what it was like to truly host creating these sessions for people. And I, I can't lie, I love it. To put so much time into something for people to enjoy in a time of their week, to put all of their things that are going on in their lives to the side, and just act as silly little characters for a moment, have that all fade away, and just be together to make something fun. I absolutely enjoy it so when game reverse came around i'm got i'm gonna be honest i didn't expect much i just wanted my friends to play cool characters that we're interested in tell a little story that was inspired from a tv show i was seeing and just see how far it would go even during the beginning it was 20 to 30 people most that joined and we didn't even expect those numbers i could have never expected what was to come when it came to the server. We really have been through so much together and it's all coming to an end soon. Three more sessions as of now. They're planned out, but there's really no way to know how they're gonna go till it happens. We've really done a lot together and it hasn't been me alone. 
my story writers, admins, those who've ever NPC'd, and the role players. None of this is even possible without all of you. Thank you to anyone who's ever put any amount of their free time towards this server, to helping create it, to being a part of it, to just drawing fan art, or just typing in the chat, talking about this thing we've done together, has created this community that can never be truly replicated. I know some of you may notice the map I'm in. It's the trade guild ship from early on. I could have chosen any map to sit in today, especially one created for the surfer. I feel like maybe that'd make more sense. But when I thought, where should I be and who should I look like for this? And I thought, OG Shulk has to fit as much as I love older Shulk. This has been me for most of the role play. And this place, I think, speaks more for Gamerverse than some others. I think the custom maps that have been worked on by myself, Squid, by Jay, by Isa, by anyone else who helped make things, they are absolutely amazing and they are original content for the server that I never thought was going to be made. Thank you for the work that's gone into this. But I truly think back to my favorite moments of this role play. And a lot of them happened here. It's a simple map put together from Takato, ripped straight out of Xenoblade 2, but we we turned it into our own. We we got to express ourselves and run through a story and have our characters interact. And it was fun. It was simple. I mean, sure we had the right, you know, beforehand, but it's when we got in here that just the creativity flown out. And we interacted with each other and we had such a great time. And that continued to move on forward, but I really think it really started to happen from this point. I love everything that we've done together. There's good and bad, of course. I've always found that no matter how many hours of work in a week that I put towards this, that it was right when the session went in, when everyone would get together and they would talk about the greatness that we experienced. That was always the payoff for me. Even if there was negative feedback, it told me how to make this thing better. This so that I can make a better experience for all of you. Gamerverse has gone through a lot of change. It wasn't great at the start. There was a lot wrong with it. But through good critique and working together, we formed what we have now. I think I've blabbered on enough. I mean, you're going to hear more from me in the finale video. But even by watching this, I want to thank you for being a part of this project that I put together for two years and eight months. This means the world to me. Whenever I've given thought of what I want to do with my life, I've come up with the answer that at some point through the things I've made, I want to be able to confidently say that I have positively affected the lives of someone that I originally did not know. As long as I could put effort into something that I'm passionate about and have someone witness it and, and have their life be better because of it, that's all I care about. And I thought maybe it happened later on through maybe the game design career I wanted to make or who knows what but not through a silly project made with friends. I, I hear so many of your messages of how you've gone through so many dark times, that this server was here for you so that you can meet the people that you hang out with daily. And I think there's even been relationships that have been formed because of this server. I could have never thought it was gonna happen because of this. You've, you've proved to me that my efforts have been worth it, that I, as a creator have been able to provide something good into this world. And I am forever thankful for you all being a part of this project. Sincerely, thank you. So, three sessions left. We've got this, all right? The universe needs to get its fucked. It's been a long time coming.
and it's going to be a lot of fun. And as much as I would love for it to go on forever, every story needs its end. It's no good if it doesn't. But don't think that the friendships we formed here will end as well. I have something telling me. This won't be the end of it. So look out. I love you all. Truly. And for the last time. Thanks for being a part of Gamerverse. I'll see you all in the next session.